Hello YouTubers, here we are with another video that we know will have your interest. Let's talk about ketchup. Yes, you heard that right. Ketchup is commonly used to dip your french fries in, along with mayonnaise. For all you mayo lovers out there, it's used to add to your burger or hot dog sandwich. You can even use it on your chicken or pork chop. It is the most popular condiment after all. But did you know that it has another potential use? Here in Morongo TV, we started exploring the use of ketchup to remove rust. Yes, folks, that precious condiment you love to eat with your french fries has potential other uses than just eating it. In today's video, we explore and experiment on the use of ketchup. Ketchup and rust. Does it really work? Ketchup can be used for more than dipping fries. It is said we can actually use ketchup for cleaning household items. Why is that? Well, first and foremost, ketchup contains vinegar. Vinegar and the acetic acid in vinegar can work as a mild cleaner to cut through different types of grime. With tomato, the common ingredient in most ketchups contains citric acid. That can be useful in cleaning. Due to the high viscosity of ketchup, it is said to be great for shining brass, copper, and silverware. Amazing that the most famous condiment, sorry for mayo lovers, in the world can be possibly used for cleaning all things. Rust and oxidation. How exactly does ketchup clean rust? Let me explain. Rust is the effect of copper combining with oxygen in the air to form brown copper oxide, known as rust. Rust is both unappealing and potentially fatal to anyone who consumes. It's best that you eliminate rust from any of your household products. The problem is, sometimes we don't have the budget to replace it with new items and would love to be able to fix the ones we already have. Which brings us into ketchup. With all its ingredients and aesthetic properties, ketchup is inexpensive and easily accessible, making it the ideal potential cleaner for your rusty items. The theory is ketchup can remove oxidation from metal. As you can see, the spatula has developed rust all over the blade. What we're going to do is put some ketchup. In case you're wondering, brand of ketchup doesn't really matter. We are, however, using tomato ketchup. Place some ketchup on the metal and spread it around as seen in the video. Be sure to put a generous but just enough amount of ketchup. Really let it slide along the middle. Once you're done spreading ketchup, we wait for a few minutes. As you can see in the video, there are some stains left in the spatula, and there's still apparent rust all over it. This debunks that with that certain amount, it completely removes the stains. For the next step, we're going to try completely dosing the entire blade of the spatula in ketchup. As you can see, the spatula has a load of ketchup all over it. It's important to remember that the main theory is ketchup can remove oxidation in metal. As seen a few moments ago, the specific amount of ketchup did not respond well with the theory. That's why we're trying this approach with a lot more ketchup. Instead of leaving it for a few minutes, we're going to leave it for a few hours. Then we're going to wash it down and see what the results are. Let's keep that water running and wash all the ketchup from the spatula. As you can see, as we're washing it down with water, almost a powdery residue is being washed off. The stains are still there, but there are no more signs of brown oxidation on the spatula. The rust may be removed, but there are some stains on the spatula that still remain. As we've exhausted our use for ketchup, we'll be getting to our conclusion later on in the video. For now, we're going to see how other products from Home Depot fare in trying to clean away the spatula. Iron out. The spatula is in a bucket of water, and we put some powder on top of it. As you can see, it's bubbling at a high rate. We're going to leave this overnight and see what the progress is. After leaving it overnight, we can see that the spatula is completely black. We're going to try to wash it off, washing off the black stuff with a sponge. We can see it's coming off, although the shine of the blade is still not returning and still has a numerous number of stains. As you can see after washing, we can actually see the rust forming back. So therefore, we'll be trying another product. Perfect sink. With this product, we're going to place the white liquid on the blade. Apply a generous amount. We're going to scrub it off again with a sponge. 
After scrubbing, you can see the brown stuff on the sponge from the constant scrubbing. It is at this point that we're going to rinse it off with some water. We can see the blade looks significantly better. Not much shining going on, but it was able to clean the majority of the stains and some rust that was forming back. However, small stains still appear and a little rust that looks like it could spread back still appears. For the sake of this so-called experiment, we're going to use another product before going back to our conclusion on ketchup as a blade cleaner. Charnix Tarnish Remover The cleaner has a strong chemical smell to it. For safety, we'll avoid touching it with our bare hands. We're going to place the spatula in the bucket with the cleaner and clean it by shaking the bucket and see how well it does. We can see that it's removing a lot of stains from the handle that wasn't being removed with the ketchup or the other two products we previously used. We're going to keep scrubbing for a few minutes and then see where it leaves us. As we can see after cleaning it, that the handle is almost completely clean with a little bit of shine coming back from the handle, but the blade hasn't been affected much. After leaving it for a few days, we can see the blade has not formed any rust in it. After using the other chemical products, we then go back to our conclusion on whether or not ketchup is an effective cleaner. As we discussed earlier, the acidic property of ketchup, which is vinegar, contributed massively in the washing of the spatula. However, as we saw, it did not completely do the job, as there are still some stains left in the metal. Combined with the acidic and acidic properties of ketchup, we were able to wash a considerable amount of rust off the spatula. However, while the rust was washed away, some of the scars and stains of the spatula remain. As you can see on the video right now, we're using different chemicals and products to try washing off the stains of the spatula, and the effect has been somewhat decent. While the ketchup may have removed some rust, in order to completely cleanse your spatula or any other blade, you're going to have to use some different products. Which brings us to our conclusion. Can ketchup really be used to remove rust? Yes, it can, technically. However, the ketchup worked because of the vinegar ingredient, which contains the acidic properties. It is because of that ingredient that we were able to do an okay job in terms of cleaning the spatula. We can conclude though, that while ketchup may work, it may not be the best nor the most efficient way of cleaning your rusty items. It's worth noting that we believe it is because of the vinegar that we were able to clean the rust off. While ketchup may have vinegar, it doesn't have that much vinegar. Using vinegar entirely or using a product that is mostly composed of vinegar will get you the results that you want. That is of course considered the cheaper alternative. As seen in the video, if you can afford it, we recommend buying those home products. While it may be a bit pricey, to wash the stains off your rusty items and to get the best results possible. It's safe to say that maybe we should stick to ketchup when it comes to our fries. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you found our video informative and fun, please hit that like button and leave a comment below on what you think and what you know about ketchup being used to clean rust. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell to be updated with our content. Moranga TV motivation, inspiration, fun.